Hi Taurus and welcome to your spirit guide messages for December 2018. So I'm going to start off by pulling one card here which is their overall advice and message to you for December. So this could be about a person, this could be about a situation, this could be a question that you had on your mind um, before you came to this reading. So Taurus, your guides have two cards for you. First one is move on and the second one is think twice. Oh my gosh. Uh, if that's not a confliction of information, right? So let's see, what do they say here? Move on, strive for a bigger purpose. Do not see, do not see the lotus bud. See instead the lotus blossom. Don't focus on the moment for it is temporary. The future is better than today, even when not in view. And now think twice. No matter your level of power or success, set aside your pride and prepare for the unexpected. Don't underestimate the situation. The outcome may be altered if you examine the viewpoints and approaches of others before taking action. So, Taurus, to me, this looks like you guys are kind of um, in a conflict, some of you, where and one side of you really wants to move on from a person or situation, but the other side of you keeps second guessing that. Is this the right thing for me? Um, and you know, this could also be about making a big time change. Like if you want to change your job career, your job career, uh, your what you do. Like, so let's just say you're an accountant. Maybe you're tired of being an accountant, all right? And you want to start doing hair. Okay, it could be something like that, but you're like, will I be able to make it doing hair? I really love doing hair, but is that going to pay the bills the same way my accounting job is going to pay my bills? So some of you, that might be what this is about, where we're back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But what I feel as your spirit guide saying this is their main message to you, it's like, yes, Taurus, it is time to let go and move on from something. But before you do that, make sure you allow yourself to see the situation, the circumstances, and the person, or if there's multiple people involved, see from their perceptions. Just really open yourself up and see everything from many, many levels, okay? Because in that space, I feel the way you handle your exit will be a lot different than if you just kind of leave with your opinion, your opinion only caught up in your emotions, whatever it is, okay? It's like really do a, a thorough analysis of every detail before you decide to let go, walk away, move on, whatever it is for you personally, all right? Um, also, if somebody has left you, Taurus, and they're trying to show back up in your world in December, you might want to think twice before you let them. Or if somebody's wanting like a second chance with you for whatever reason, I get that you probably should just move on and not really give them a second chance or give them the time of day. It's like it will just be the same thing over and over. So, you know, make sure you do a good analysis just so you for your own peace of mind so later down the road you're not like gosh did I make the right decision was I too emotional was I too hasty no do the analysis more for your peace of mind also in that there may be some things that come to light that you are just not quite aware of right now today in this moment okay so interesting Taurus you guys actually probably have the most interesting uh, message so far. You guys are my sixth read, so let's keep pulling cards, Taurus, and see what your guides are talking about. Alright, right there. Okay, spiritual service. So, Taurus, those of you where this isn't so much about spiritual growth and a super spiritual message, this coming out as a supporting energy to these two cards is letting me know that whatever it is you've got to let go of, move on from, walk away from, 
it's for your own good. There's something else for you. There's another calling. If it's a career, you're absolutely right. You're feeling those uh, energies pull you towards a new company, to, towards a whole new career genre entirely. Um, others of you, this if this is about relationships, you know, you've got to let go of the past or you've got to let go of people right now that just don't honor you or let emotional baggage go because this means there are relationships that are far more spiritually based and connected for you up ahead, all right? It's just we've got to let go and move on from something first. Now, for those of you where this is deeply spiritual and it's about spiritual growth and a connection, um, this is a very different message. You are thinking of giving up on yourself, on your spiritual gift, on your service to humanity, and this is your guides with a very, very stern you need to think twice before you let this go, before you give up on yourself, before you give up on your dream, before you give up on all that you have accomplished, all you have learned is the greatness and vastness of your consciousness and its expansion, your spiritual growth. Like, Taurus, if you are thinking of throwing in the towel because you're just tired and, and you just don't even know anymore, don't do it. All right, you will be rejuvenated. Sometimes when you are in spiritual service, it just, you know, it you everybody including me gets to that point of is this my path? Is this what I want to be doing every single day of my life, right? And if that's where you're at with your spiritual service, Taurus, no, think twice before giving up on that because you're just tired right now and you just need to recharge your batteries, okay? So Let's keep pulling cards. And those of you who are thinking of leaving the 3D world and your corporate type of career to become more spiritually based, um, I would say you've got to make sure your ducks are in a row, okay, that you can make that shift. But again, really assess, analyze everything so you have that peace of mind later down the road should you experience any challenge or friction where you don't second guess yourself, okay, is, did I do the right thing, changing my career, going from, you know, a normal job to spiritual based business or practice, yes, just you've You've got to do the analysis now. So later, you're like, nope, I know I made the right choice. I know I made the right choice. Okay, so what do we have? Grand Trine, Blessing. Yes, I love it. Taurus, there are beautiful things ahead for you, okay? If you are trying to move on from some bad relationships, do it. Do it, do it. There is blessings up ahead for you. There's a reason why you're feeling a bit more disconnected and feeling the pull to separate and pull away from certain people. It's because there's better, more spiritually connected relationships up ahead. If this is about a job and you're feeling that pull and that longing, again, it's very blessed. Um, those of you in spiritual service where you're getting really tired and wanting to throw in the towel, nope, you're about to be blessed. Just hang in there. So let's pull some tarot cards. Okay, so we have the King of Wands. Could involve a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. That might be the energy that you need to take on, Taurus, and get really fiery and feisty about what it is that you want. And, um, you know, anybody that's just really oppressive, it's time for them to go. Look at this. Next out is the moon card, which is deep emotions or, um, you know, those of you in spiritual service, again, you could be feeling kind of drained and and sad. You just need to recharge. You don't need to throw in the towel. You know, if you failed at something, made a mistake, it's okay, Taurus. Like, it's okay. You just need a breather. Next, we have the Six of Swords. Yes, moving on to smoother, calmer waters. After that is the star. We love that. That's healing. That's magic. That's blessings. And look at this. Eight of Cups. Walking away. Moving on. Taurus, yes. What do you need to let go of? What 
uh, thought pattern needs to be released, what um, repetitive toxic behavior or patterns in your life need to be released, what emotional baggage of the past needs to be released. Does uh, Do you need to leave a romantic situation because it's not really good for you? Do you need to leave a friendship? Do you need to leave the job that you're at? Do you need to leave some old ideas and expectations behind so that you can clear your energy and move on? Taurus, what I see here is you are finally letting go of something and it's you're moving on to so much better even if it doesn't seem like that initially you are um, aside from a fire sign we could also be dealing with a Pisces or Cancer or an Aquarius here all right um, two Aquarius cards and then you also got this moon energy which is your intuition and your emotions and once we get that balanced it's like Here's the emotion, and here's the intuition, the mind. Once those are in balance, we move on to better things. We are moving on. The Eight of Cups, we're walking away from something. And what we're walking away from is something that is not good for us, okay? But again, do that thorough mental analysis and assessment so that you have peace of mind and you don't second-guess yourself later on, all right? So let's pull you some advice. All right, so look at this. We have discernment. Yep. And you see how the clouds are over her eyes? This is why I'm saying, you know, you definitely need to let go of something and walk away from something. But it, some of you, it might be you're thinking you've got to walk away from a certain something, but it's actually through this analysis you realize that's not what I need to walk away from. This other thing actually is, okay? So really do that analysis. I'm not saying um, you might have been not doing that analysis because you thought it would make you think twice or you've been kind of stuck in that loop, but seriously, if you truly discern and ask for the guidance of your spiritual team, Taurus, you will see all things as they need to be seen, and you will understand. It will give you the peace of mind. You'll be able to move on, and that is where the healing comes into play. The blessings come into play. So December ends on a very good note for Taurus, okay? Let's pull one last card for you guys. And those of you who have been really struggling with your spiritual-based service, um, getting yourself out there, or just the resources, the help, just whatever it is that you need, Taurus, I really feel like there's this blessing coming in, which is allowing you to walk away from the heavy, heavy challenge that has made you really question if this is your calling and what you should be doing, okay? Look at this. We have the Pleiades, double mission. Um channeling and uplifting humanity look at that yes Taurus those of you in spiritual service no it is not time to throw in the towel it might just be time to really reassess how we do things and um, the idea that we thought we would be let that go so that the real blessing can come in and you were going to be quite elevated double mission there um some of you, there's a lot on your plate, okay? Uh, whether this is in life or this is just like your spiritual gifts and what you're giving to humanity, you guys are called to do quite a bit. And um, what needs to be shed needs to be shed. And once that's shed, Taurus, your blessings come in. So walk away from what truly needs to be left behind, but only after you've done a really deep and thorough analysis of all components and details okay so Taurus those are your messages I'm wishing you all the best take care